What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to LTH and my name is Abe and in this video I want to cover setting up any version of Minecraft period on TrueNAS scale. I had a subscriber comment this and ask me to do this so I wanted to show you guys today. Sorry I don't remember your name and I couldn't find the comment but if you have not installed TrueNAS click the link down below to our website where I will link to our video or go look on our channel at the video of how to set up TrueNAS first and then come back to this video. All right, so now that you have TrueNAS set up or already have, we're going to just go ahead and log in. And once we are logged into our TrueNAS, you will be on this page dashboard, and then you're gonna click applications. Also, one thing to note real quick, this is your IP address if you have a domain URL like I do. So take note of that. And then we're gonna click applications, on the top right, we're gonna click discover apps. And then in this search bar, we can type Minecraft. And so you can see we have a couple versions here, but ultimately if you are trying to set this up for your kid or something, Minecraft Java is not the cr cr cross platform one. Minecraft Bedrock is, so you're gonna to need to go with that one. In our case, I'm gonna show you Java, but this will work for either one within this video. So once you click on that, we're gonna click install. And this is gonna bring us to our configuration settings. So once again, I have step-by-step -step instructions with screenshots down below in the description, but we are going to need to change essentially 13 things roughly. And so the first thing you wanna do is name this application. If you wanna change that, we're gonna leave it Minecraft. You need to leave this version if you're planning on using the latest. Pick your time zone, select the user agreement that Minecraft requires, or this will not boot if you do not do this. Now select your image right here. So we are doing Java 21 on Ubuntu is fine. And then we need to se select the Minecraft type. In our case, we're doing vanilla, but you could do spigot, bucket, paper, folia, fabric, whatever, forge, they have them all on here. For the sake of this video, I'm just gonna show you plain vanilla and we're gonna use the latest version. Now you may want to change this if you're using plugins or mods, but that's past the scope of this video. You can select survival, creative adventure or whatever. So we're gonna leave it as survival. And then this is where you're gonna name your server name itself, which this will be the name within the configuration files, not or shown on your Minecraft server, not what's shown in TrueNAS. So this is the one that you would wanna change if you have lots of different Minecraft servers and you wanna make it more unique. And then we're gonna leave this, like these are optional, but easy, peaceful, or normal. And then the main thing we have to really do is set a password right in here for our Archon. And then all of this can stay the same, but if you'd like to read through these instructions, you can, but for the sake of this video, we're gonna kinda pass them. You can pause if you want to. And we are going to go all the way down to our network configuration. So this is the next area that we care about. In here under host IPs, we're gonna click add, and then we're just gonna say, hey, the host IP of this TrueNAS machine, which I showed you on the dashboard screen, right? Right here, that that is the IP I want you to use for this container for this Minecraft server. And then the next thing we're going to do is scroll all the way down to resources and you can decide on how many CPU cores and how much RAM you're gonna use or how many players you may have on your server. That will be determined right here. And then click install. And this might take a minute or two to enable and get all set up. So go ahead and pause this video until that is done and then unpause once you're ready. So once this shows running in green, we now need to know where do we go to configure the settings for this machine? Well, we can open up this shell under workloads and then we're just gonna do bin sh and click choose. So if we type the command ls, we can see a list of all the files on this server. But for the purpose of this video, we kind of care about server properties. And so I will paste this in here with control shift V. The nano is the file to edit. And then in here is where we have all our configuration changes. So you could change uh, the hard modes, the permissions, the levels, the port numbers. But depending on what version of Minecraft you use, we care about down here. 
So the server IP based on this container is going to use the host machine, right? But you could add it in here if you want, but you don't need to. But let's say you installed a different version of Minecraft than the one on this video. Come in here and check your server port number to make sure that you're connecting with the right port. So we're going to use 25535. So let's go ahead and launch Minecraft Java and log into this server just to make sure that it is working. So once we've booted up Minecraft, we're going to go to multiplayer direct connection and then type in the ip address colon the port number of your newly created minecraft server and click join and we'll verify that we can log into the server so we can see that we were successful in creating our minecraft server in just a handful of minutes on our true nas machine my name is abe thank you for watching this is another home lab video stay tuned for more, because we have big projects coming very soon.